I DM'd various pros asking what their favorite formations are right now in FIFA 23. Together with my analysis of popular YouTube videos on custom tactics and formations, this is the top five formations right now in FIFA 23. 4 2 3 1, I would say the grandfather of formations in FIFA in general. It's been a staple for many pros throughout previous years and again it's back this year in FIFA 23. Reason being is because it is such a balanced formation. You've got four at the back, you've got two CDMs, you have your left and right cam, your central cam and your striker. It allows you to sit deep and tight in the defense with the two CDMs as well as your cams coming back deeper to help defend but it also allows you to have a lot of versatility in the attack because you overload the midfield with your two CDMs and cam but you also have the width options of the lamb and the ram as well as your wing bats that can be overlapping and you'll see that in the instructions and how important that is. This is a great formation for keeping possession because as I said there is many players out in the wing but there's also many players in the middle so you're always going to have a passing option as you are building up in your attack and it allows you to obviously drop back and sit deep when you are defending against your opponent once he wins the ball back and counter attacks you. In terms of instructions, it's quite simple. You have the striker on getting behind, it gives you those running options. When going forward, he's able to run along the line of the defense. And then you have your two CDMs on stay back while attacking and cover center. It allows you to sit tight and deep as those CDMs come back to defend counter attacks. Your wing bats are on balance, reason being is you need more options out in that width area. With them on balance, they stay back relatively deep, but also they go forward to give you those overlapping options. So on balanced is the recommendation for those. The rest I leave on the default player instructions, including the lamb and the ram. In terms of the tactics, we do keep it simple. They are on default pretty much. The only thing is that you might have a little bit higher depth and a few more players going forward. The reason why it's on default, I won't go into depths here, but if you do want to know why, then search up the only custom tactics video that you need to watch in FIFA 23, and that will explain everything. The 4, 3, 2, 1. My goodness, probably the most popular formation in pro tournaments this year. The reason being is it gives you a lot of passing options, and as I've explained in previous videos. Dribbling is not as effective this year in FIFA 23 compared to previous years, which means the game is about passing and formations that offer us a lot of passing options in the midfield as well as out in the wing are going to be formations that prevail this year and the 4-3-2-1 is exactly that. You have three CMs, you then have your two centre forwards left and right. It gives you a lot of passing options in the middle of the pitch, but as you'll see from the instructions, we do have those wing bats on balanced and one of them on overlap simply because you need that width option and when you're building up in the middle eventually you want to come out wide to where the overlapping wing back is and you want to essentially then start to drag the defenders out of your opponent to open up the defense in the middle of the pitch. It's a great formation this year, it's very good for counter-attacking and you always have a passing option, which is the best thing about it. The other thing about this formation is defensively, it sets up as a 4-4-2, and that will obviously be determined on what you set your instructions on. And this means we have a very compact defense when coming back and then going forward. It's almost as though you're playing with a 2-3-5 because your wing bats are making those overlapping runs and giving you five attacking options going forward. In terms of instructions, for the striker, he is on default. I don't have him on anything else but default instructions. However, this is important. You pick either the left forward or the right forward to come back on defense. He will come back on defense and sit on that left mid or right mid area, which as I said, will make up the 4-4-2 defensively. Then, for the opposite CM to the left forward or the right forward, you want him going to the width area so that he gets into that left mid or right mid position. And the way you do that is on cover wing. In terms of your two other CMs, the central one and the opposite CM to the one that you have on cover wing, they are on cover center and stay back while attacking. What this does is causes a four midfield line to set up in the defense. For the opposite center forward that you didn't have on come back on defense, he is going to be on stay forward. So you have your two attackers up top, your four 
midfielders and then for your defenders of course the left back and the right back are of course on balanced and one of them the most attacking one will have to be on overlap and that will give you more width going forward in the attack and then of course when you come back on defense they will be back defending in that four back line formation obviously you have the less attacking more defensive wing back on balanced for all of them on the default instructions because you do want at least one of your wing bats back to have three defenders back just in case the opponent counter attacks the four triple two my goodness it was an absolute nightmare of a formation last year in fifa 22 and i'm telling you now it is back it's a very very attacking but also defensive formation that's the best thing about the four triple two and you have an overload of that attack four attackers going forward giving you options in the center but also in the wing, you also have your two CDMs on stay back while attacking. They're staying back and breaking up the play if you end up losing the ball going forwards. It's a very balanced but attacking but a defensive formation this year in FIFA 23. And the best thing about it is you can use the width with this formation to drag the defense out very effectively. Your opponent's defense that is. And open up gaps and space in the center of the pitch. Very, very effective formation this year in FIFA 23 for that reason. And of course, as I said, you will have your two CDMs breaking up the play with your four defenders, okay, if you end up losing the ball going forwards. In terms of the player instructions, I like to have one of my strikers on getting behind and the other one on balanced. Reason being is I have that one on balance coming forward to receive the ball to his feet and they also have movement from the other striker. It also gives you versatility with your build up. If you pick the right side and say your right striker is on getting behind, you have that more movement in the attack going forwards. If you pick the left side to attack up, then of course you have more passing options so you can build it up a little bit slower on the left side if you're using that side and the strike on the left is the one on balanced. So it gives you that versatility there. In terms of the cams on either side, they are on balanced. I like having them on balanced so that they sit tight and of course give you attacking options, but also in the defense, they do relatively come deep so that give you a more defensive option. And it also allows you to try and win the ball back higher up the pitch, which is the most important aspect. In terms of your two CDMs, they're on cover center and stay back while attacking. A very, very common theme you'll see in this video is they're always on cover center and stay back for your CDMs because you want them back breaking up the play. In terms of the wing bats, again, they're on balanced. As I said, FIFA 23 is about passing options and having those more passing options in the attack, including having those wing backs overlapping, it's going to allow you to have more attacking options out in the wing, especially when you're trying to build up on the wing. And that's the greatest thing about it. So you can have the option of having both of those on balance and one of them on overlap, just like the 4-3-2-1. But if you wanted to, you could have one of them on stay back while attacking, just so you have three defenders back when going forward and then of course you'll have the other one making overlapping runs the rest are on default a very effective formation balanced very good in the attack and the defense the 4-1-4-1 you probably haven't heard of this too much but a lot of pros are liking this formation right now because as i said bb23 is about passing and it's a formation that offers you a lot of passing options both in the midfield but also out in that width area and i'll explain why on the left side you have the left mid the left back, the left CM, the center back on the left. You have those four passing options. Then you also have that striker on getting behind, which means he's on that side where you're building up, let's say, on the left side. And then also you have the CDM. Now, he's a player that will be sitting there and waiting for a passing option on the left side as well as he drifts out there to give you more passing options. So you have at least six passing options when you're building up on the wing with this formation. But let's say you want to build up in the middle. Well, you've got many passing options. The striker, the CDM, the two CMs. You're overloading the midfield, which is the best thing about it. And you've got your left mid and right mid offering passing options to you if in need and if you're getting squeezed in the middle of the pitch again it's the same with the right side you have a lot of passing options as i was saying vice versa with the left side and that is the greatest thing about it it allows you to build up in the middle 
but also allows you to build up on the wing. So you're not constrained to just one build up strategy. And with the 4-3-2-1, you're more constrained to the middle. With the 4 triple 2 you're more constrained to the wing. With the 4-1-4-1, you have a lot of passing options, which is the greatest thing about it. In terms of the instructions, the striker is on get in behind. Then of course you have the two CMs. I like having one on balance, and that's the more attacking option, but then I also like having the other one on stay back while attacking and cover center. The CDM, of course, is the same thing, as I said. Cover center, stay back while attacking. Your left mid and right mid, these are usually on default, but if you do want them coming back, you could have them on comeback on defense. For your left back and right back, again, I like having them on balance so they give me those options going forward, but also coming back. You don't have to have one of them on overlap like the other formations. I feel like there's enough wing passing options without having those guys bomb forward, but it is up to you. You can change them if you like, and again, it's a situation where if you just watched that video I recommended it to you, the only custom tap this video you need to watch in FIFA 23, then you'll realize these are sorts of things that you guys need to determine for yourself. Do you like your wing bats going forward or do you not? Do you like more defensive options or do you like more attacking options? It's really for you to decide and decide what works for you. In terms of the CBs and the goalkeeper, again, they're all unbalanced. Those are the instructions for this formation. Very, very effective. And again, custom tactics be left up on the screen for you right now. The 3-4-2-1 is making a return, and I really do like this formation, especially if you're looking to have a more attacking style formation and custom tactics. It's almost as though it's like the 4-3-2-1, but you're starting off in the attack instantaneously with those wing bats hopping forward. And instead of them being wing bats, they are a left mid and a right mid. But you also have three center bats. So you're actually defending with a five bat formation. So in general, it's more attacking but also more defensive comparing to the 4-3-2-1. But if you're looking for more balance, I will go for the 4-3-2-1. But if you're looking for a more attacking and defensive formation, go for the 3-4-2-1. Just looking at this formation sets up with five attackers going forward. I mean, if you're looking to overload the uh, defense of your opponent with attackers and catch them high up the pitch, this is a great formation for that. You can squeeze them very well with this, especially if you know right sit switching, which you should if you watch the channel. In terms of the defense, you have yourself two CMs and a cam. Now, you're probably thinking it's not as defensive, but if you have those guys on stay back while attacking the two CMs, or at least one of them on stay back while attacking, again, it's up to you to determine you want one or two. Well, you will actually have a fairly defensive formation. With those three center bats, they're quite compressed in the middle, which means the opponent is forced out wide. But at the end of the day, being forced out wide is actually not the worst thing because we have our wing bats, our left mid and right mid getting forward, but then also coming back, which means you'll have five back, which means you'll be able to prevent the wing overload from your opponent. So it's quite balanced in that aspect, and I really do like this formation, as agreed by many other pro players. Now, in terms of instructions, I do like having my striker and get in behind. I like having the left forward and right forward, or two center forwards, whatever you want to call it, on balanced, okay, in terms of the CMs, I personally have them on stay back while attacking for both of them. Very effective for that. And of course, in terms of the left mid and right mid, they are on comeback on defense as the only changed instruction for those two players. In terms of the center bats, of course, they're on default on stay back. The cam is also on default. This is a very, very effective formation. And I recommend it to you guys, especially if you're looking to overload the attack against your opponent and put pressure onto him from minute one. Tactics again, boom bada bing, up on your screen. So there you have it, the top five formations in my opinion, as well as other pro players' opinions for you in FIFA 23. I hope you enjoyed it. I am coaching one-on-one. -on -one. It's a very tight-knit community. If you want help with your formation and custom tactics, I can do that for you as well. Many people have gone from low divisions to the high divisions. Check out the extra tutorials I put up every week as well. And I hope you enjoy that. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign off. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.